What steps did I take to be with my twin flame? What was my process? My name's Lisi. I'm a Master Certified Ascension Coach and I've been coaching twin flames for five years now. So I wanna tell you about my process and show you the way to being with your twin flame permanently. We don't wanna just get together and then break apart, right? The first thing that I did was I realized that I needed help. And that's a huge step. Like that's part of my process that I needed to go through. Um, because for so long, I thought I had to do everything by myself. I was experiencing dark nights of the soul. I was feeling like I was going crazy because um, here I was in a relationship with a man that, you know, sparks were flying, but uh, things kept coming up that would trigger me, like, like the deepest wounds I've ever felt before. I thought that um, what I was supposed to do was like learn a few things, and then um, kind of apply those things and then be really good at it and not need help. Uh, but that, that never worked. And I tried that for many years. I tried meditation, I tried talking with different people, family, friends, um, but no one could really resolve my issue. So the most important thing I did, um, and I say this is really important because it is, um, and that is I had to realize that I needed help, that I couldn't do it on my own. I looked high, high and low, like I looked everywhere online. Um, I found the term twin flame, but a lot of teaching said that it was something that came into your life and then um, left, right? Like that they stirred up a lot of your wounds and then they left. And that felt bad to me because I knew could be with my one true love, this one, right there, that guy. For so long, I thought, okay, all I do is read an instruction manual, or I'll learn these like quick tips from somebody, and then I'll try to implement them on my own. And that actually never, never worked, right? I, I had the illusion that I was um, like gonna get it, but I didn't, and I'll tell you why. Why is that? Um, and this gets into some deeper stuff, but the reason that that didn't work is because I um, had places in my consciousness that I was hiding from myself, and I, I'm pretty sure you do too. These, this is um, called separation consciousness. These are in your subconscious, so they're the patterns that you act from, the, the beliefs that you act from, and the patterns that you've acted from for most of your life, you don't even know that you're doing it. Um, another thing that I couldn't do on my own is I didn't have the proper understanding of Twin Flames and I couldn't come up with it on my own. And I, I do want to stress that like this, this path that you walk is a very humbling path where you are, you're humbled more than once. Um, and I needed some support. I needed uh, someone to guide me and show me the way. Because I didn't have the way. If I did, I would have gotten to, you know, be in permanent harmonious union on my own with my true twin flame. It's a very challenging relationship if you don't have the right tools and support because you're not going to understand what twin flame mirroring is, and you're not going to know what to do with the twin flame mirroring, if, even if you knew what it was. So what did I do? So I once I realized that I needed help and that I couldn't do it on my own. I went on a search and I found a bunch of tarot readings on YouTube, maybe you're doing that too. Um, and then I stumbled on Jeff and Shalia's YouTube videos and I started watching them. And um, I don't know if you've heard anything about Jeff and Shalia, but what I experienced was, oh my gosh, these people knew what I was going through and could speak to what I was going through. And here's the important part, they had a solution. And it wasn't just like a quick fix, it was a process and um, there was, so much support, so much support for me. So I joined their school, this is my second step of the process. I joined their school and I committed to weekly coaching with one of their coaches. So that was really important for me, it was key because I see a lot of people being like, okay, I know I need help, but are kind of like on the fence and you're, 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 not, you're not jumping in, you're like kind of dipping your toe in, you're, maybe you're watching my YouTube videos. And I wanna tell you, my YouTube videos are a sample. It's a sample. It's like when you go to the grocery store and you eat samples. That is not going to satisfy you. That's not going to bring you into a harmonious union. So 
just watching someone's YouTube videos is not going to heal you. I wanna stress that. So those of you around sitting watching my videos, listen, okay? So I'm telling you what I did and what you can do too. And um, the next thing, so I, I started watching the classes and working with my coach. The next part of my process is like things were still challenging, but I had the support, but I needed to get to a place of never giving up. Like meeting every challenge and, and going all in with this work. So step one, I knew I needed support. Step two, I claimed the support. And step three, I went all in on the support. So I got the everything package. I watched all of the classes. I, I adopted this as a way of life. So whenever I'm upset, I do the mirror exercise. And I grew closer to the community. Um, it's, it's really important that you understand that this is a way of life. And you try it on, right? Like, you know, no one's forcing you to do it, but I can tell you that it works. Um, so it works. And to, to keep it, you, this is the fourth thing, you must share it. It doesn't mean that you take what's yours and you give your, uh, your share to someone else. It means you show people how to get what you have. And that's what I do. So I became an Ascension coach. Um, that was the way that I found that works the best to share this with others. You might do something else. You might, you know, tell people where, where you healed. Maybe tell people about my channel. Tell people about um, Twin Flames Universe. Tell people about uh, everything that, that has helped you and genuinely give it, right? Like, you're not giving in order to get something. But for me, um, being a coach means that I can help people through their spiritual blocks and challenges that are present preventing them from moving forward. So here's, here's an example. Like, I had a belief that I was unlovable and that I didn't deserve for my twin flame to love me. I also had beliefs about money and wealth, and that's another thing I talk about in coaching. Um, believing that I didn't deserve to be wealthy or to grow my wealth. So that's one thing that, that I healed and that I help my clients heal. And as I heal and they heal, all of us ascend at the same time. So those are four steps. Understand you need help. Get the help. Go all in with the help and then share it. So that's, that's my recipe. And I continue to share it. I don't ever stop. So if you're ready to take your next step, look in the description box under this video and get 50% off of your first coaching session with me. My name is Lisi. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.